I was raised in a happy family. There were five kids, my mom and dad. We went to church every week. It was the type of church where you weren't held accountable because you could let someone know what your sins were and they would absolve you by having you say things and say prayers and then they would be erased. There wasn't really a connection there with God, even though I prayed every night. I prayed to who I thought the only God was, so as life went on, my family got involved in New Age, and I still prayed every night, thinking I was praying to the only God there was. But there was no conscience as far as right from wrong, so when I was out on my own, I was doing all the things the world did, I had a bad mouth, I went out and partied, and I didn't feel like there was anything wrong with it. And I was still praying to God every night. So everything came to head in my family one day. My brother was going through some this new age to the point where it almost costed him his life. So I was really mad at God. So I went to my brother's house one day, got down on my hands and knees. I literally was crying out to God. I'm saying, why are you doing this to him? He loves you. I remember reading in the Word where it said, I got on my knees and He heard my cries. And every time I read that in the Bible, it just it brings me back to that place where I was on that living room floor because God met me at that moment. I wanted answers, so I turned the TV on to the 700 Club, and this lady came on. Her name was Johanna Michelson, and she started talking about New Age. I didn't even realize what I was doing was New Age. We had done it our whole life through school. She said, Satan comes as an angel of light. And that was the turning point for me. She explained some things that happened in New Age, and it's like a light bulb went off in my head. I went to work the next day where I taught aerobics. The lady that I taught aerobics for had to shut her studio down. I had been offered a job at another studio, so I went to her class and told her that I could start teaching for her. Not only did I get a raise, but I also found out she was a Christian. I went there, she got me a Bible, she got me in Bible study every week at her house. She said, here's the Bible, start right here and start reading. Every night I was faithful to read the Word, and I would put this instrumental Christian music on, and there was this one particular song that I loved. They would have the instrumental part, and then the lady would echo these words, and then there'd be instrumental, and then the man would come and echo the words. So that was like my heart. She got me baptized, and the weekly meetings that we had at her house, she had this lady come, and the lady's name was Fran Lane, and she was a prophetess. She was praying over each one of us, and the Lord would give her word for each one of us. When she came to me, she said, the Lord gives me Psalm 27, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Immediately, I fell apart and started crying, but it was because that song that was so dear to my heart was the same scripture that this lady read me, and I didn't even know it was a scripture in the Bible. That was the point that I realized God really loved me, and He cared about me. And I would get up at 5.30 on a Sunday morning, drive 45 minutes to take a ferry, go 30 minutes across just to go to church at this church that the lady showed me. And I thought that I was a good person, but I didn't realize the relationship with Jesus Christ that I needed. As time went on, every time I read the Word, I'd go, oh, okay, I'm not supposed to do that. It was the Word that changed me. Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life, and that's what's made the difference today.